What's up, guys? Welcome to the present podcast where we talk about uh, concepts that are real, relevant, and rich. Basically, breaking life into beats that are breakable and chewable, digestible, yeah, practical. And so, today, I just want to speak about something real quick uh, preparing to die. Now, death is one of those things that's unpredictable, inescapable, and inevitable. It's something that you can't really escape. Which is why it's very important then to talk about these things. And I remember I did speak about um, death, about preparing to die. Uh, I spoke about how death is my greatest motivation. This was in a message of of the day. It wasn't a podcast necessarily. But, and and the fascinating thing is that a few days after I said that, uh, what happened, uh, there was this uh, Ethiopian air, air crash. And I'm not saying these two are c- connected, but I'm, uh, it just gave me a deeper insight into the actual message of preparing for death. Because if you, if you remember, like 150 people died at once. And I know many instances have happened where people die like that unexpectedly and just impromptly. And it's, it's just a lesson that should stay on our mind on how to prepare for death because it's unpredictable. And so here's how I, 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 I put it. I'm going to ask you a question. And then from that, we can actually find how to truly defy death, if you will. Question is, what would you do if you knew that you only had three months to exist on this planet? What would you do? Now, personally, I would I would change a lot of things. I would uh, I would I would accomplish all my dreams. I would do things. I would I would I would get my studio. I would do my poetry. I would buy my car. Do that. I, I would just get crazy. Did I say buy a car? I'm actually so stupid. I would actually fulfill my purpose and try to you know help people uh, reach out with the message that I have for people. That's what I would do. What would you do? Now, I I know you're still processing this or you processed this already, but the truth is, whatever that thing that you would do, that is actually the purpose of your life. And you should start doing that. That thing that you would do if you only had three months to exist, you should start doing that right now. I say that um, the only way we can truly defy death is 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 to live life to the full potential so that when death comes, it has nothing to take away from us. It has no opportunity to take away from us. We have nothing to lose, basically, because we've lived life to the fullest. Death is only a problem when it comes as a hindrance to your fulfillment. It's coming untimely, what's called untimely death. All right, at this point, I'm just going to take a quick break. And then we're going to continue with our conversation, how to prepare for death. I am your host, Jamonia James. Feel free to comment, suggest. If you have any comments, suggestions on, on or ideas, just drop them right there. Also, feel free to check me up on social media so that we can connect. All right, enjoy. So a little testimony here. <laughs> this morning uh, when I woke up feeling a I just, little... Uh, I just didn't feel like doing anything. I was just feeling lazy and mi- mixed up and messed up altogether. And I, I was supposed to do this podcast, but then I, th- I-, I said, ah, I won't do it. I'll do it another time. I'll do it. Even though I know I am supposed, I told myself to do a podcast every Wednesday to share a message that would touch someone. But then I was like, no, no. And then when I uh, when I read a lesson that I was studying with my family, it was so so profound how it brought that to view that you know you need to prepare for death. Now I thought if I only had few months to exist, if I only had few days to exist, would I be doing? Would I be having this attitude that I have that I'm having right now, or would I would I be more energetic and more meaningful and more purposeful? And that really hit me hard. Thing is, we only have a problem when, uh, with preparing uh, for death when we are not being present. When we say, I'm going to do it tomorrow. I will do it tomorrow, 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 next week, next week, next month, next year. That way, our life is in the future and we don't have our life. 
I, I hope that makes sense. When we push everything to the future, we are as if, in a way, creating a separation between just, it's like investing ourselves into the future, if that even makes sense, like pushing ourselves into the future. We don't have our life presently. And so if death comes now, it takes it takes us basically like we don't even have our lives like we haven't lived yet but when you are present where comes this uh, as the present podcast because i believe in being present being real being now so now is the time to fulfill your dream i know some dreams take years i know some dream takes uh, lots of time to develop and to grow but if you haven't started now you're truly wasting your time and death will, when, when death hits, you, it will take away uh, your time, basically. It's all about time, really. Are you saving up that time? Are you using that time? Because think of life as a timeline, you know, countdown, basically. So from the moment you're born, you start to die. I, I had this saying that says, uh, the, the, uh, the more you grow, I mean, the more you grow, the sooner you're dead. Uh, something like that, which which means that um, life is basic, basically a countdown, and the more we live, the more life is just slowing down. Now it's all about saving time. How are you using that time? Because time is the currency of life. Time is the currency of life, and how you use it is very important. We all have twenty four hours, and it's all about how do we use that time. And life has a time limit. It, it's so different for different persons, for different people. Death might hit at any time. We know that it's so unpredictable. So how are you living your life? How are you making your life useful? Is your life adding value to this world? Or is it subtracting value? Or I just dormant doing nothing. I hope that today you will learn a lesson from this great, great, great topic, preparing to die. And so I hope that helps you guys. I know this is short, just a few minutes, but I hope it does help you think about, about death and how you can work around that. Thank you so much for joining us. See you next Wednesday.